18 tips that you need in Rift. When you try to trade with another player in the Rift, you guys will basically swap sides. This is a really great feature if one party cannot get into another spot that the other party is already in. During Lich Supreme, you can be standing on this block using your AOTL to negate every ability that the boss gives you. This is really great if you want to save a lot of time and don't want to be actively grinding it on your own. When you guys are trying to get the collections for the Kaduka stems, it is great if you are basically right in the middle of it, jump and try to get it from the top to bottom while holding left click. This basically makes it so that you are getting the stem even faster than doing it from the side. Enjoying the tip so far? If you do, please feel free to leave a like as well as a subscription down below. Thank you so much. When mining frozen water in the living stillness area, the best way to mine it is trying to pick it from the top all the blocks corresponding from below it will be dropped and put into your inventory, meaning that you'll get the collection even faster. The fastest way of getting into the living cave without having the wall unlocked is basically walking straight, turning left, and you will see this tiny little ledge by the side of the hill that you can just teleport over and through. When you guys are trying to reach the bug hunter in the wild woods, it is best to use this jump pad located right here, right next to the wizard tower to just jump it over into the houses of where the bug hunter stays in. The best way to farm crux in the rift is basically trying to phase it. Once it's phased, you move on to the next crux and then you move on to the next one and then you move on to the next one phasing each one of them and when you come back around to the circle you'll find that the crux is no longer in its phase where you could just basically um, hit it just to obtain its loot. When you guys are grinding for vampire slayers and you're trying to get combat xp for the spawn make sure to be the one always last hitting the mob if you do not last hit the mob you will basically lose out on the xp even though it says loot share i don't know why it just combat xp works a little different in the rip when fighting bacteria the best way to use your blaster is just basically trying to hit the slime from the top where all the slime arms are connected to this allows you to be using the aoe damage to attack all instead of one arm if you guys are in the living cave and you guys are lonely and you guys don't got anybody to help you while trying to get living metal, right? The little snakes that go around the living cave and you guys got nobody to farm it with, the best way you guys could do it is probably just solo. That once you are using the music to stop the snake from moving, it has about a two second delay before it starts. So uh, use this at your advantage. Speaking of a two second delay, basically another tip that you guys could be also using if you guys are grinding it with a duo is that you could stop two snakes at once just to allow your other teammate to be mining both without moving from spot to spot. A funny way to get back to the overworld to the tower fast and efficient is basically talking to this little enderman right over here. When you guys are having a hard time trying to complete the mirror verse and trying to get the time charm, you can have another player and do all the puzzles for you while you just have to do all the parkour. Speaking of parkour, another great tip is to basically have a mod that tells you every single spot that you need to jump in. This allows you to save a lot of time and uh, effort when trying to complete parkour. Skyblock Extras has a very nice waypoint view of this as well as sky tails. And for sky tails, I'll leave a link or the waypoint or in the description below. When grinding two player soul room, it is best if you basically try to share your screen or screenshot and send it to your friend for it takes less than maybe five, seven seconds for them to actually complete it. This is the way I actually completed mine. This is one big one that uh, took me a while to figure out, but this one is basically Gunther's race. This race was muff garbage bro. so there's one jump where you have to jump from the roof to the branch and this jump is usually kind of hard for a casual player uh, I, it was really hard for me okay and the best way to actually complete it is use your aotl to actually just tp over it which is literally too easy to complete the 35 second race am i am i smart or am i so smart So the fastest way of obtaining moats in the rift at this moment is basically 
buying enchanted book bundles from the auction house in the overworld, transfer it back all the way to the rift dimension, selling it to the grubber, obtaining at least 8k motes. This is how I think the end game players usually go about it. Uh, that is how they are able to obtain a lot, a lot, a lot of motes at this rate. You just basically need to have a lot of money. I think that's about all the tips I have for you guys. Then again, if you guys have any tips and tricks that you guys want to leave in the comments, please feel free to do so. Check out this video if you want to see if ghost grinding is actually worth your time.